What's going on everybody? So today in this video, what I'm gonna be showing is how to create links in Airtable that take you to somebody's Stripe customer profile. Uh, not quite the automation that creates the Stripe customer profile, but just the how to create the link that takes you there. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben. I help lots of different clients build systems just like this, custom systems in Airtable that help increase your sales throughput or your operations throughput, in this case, specifically sales and in my CRM. If you're interested in that, you can check out the link in the description and request to book a time, or actually just book a time with me or somebody on my team. So I'm gonna jump right into the video here and show you what we have so far. So how this really works is based on the Stripe customer ID. And how I want to show you that is if we go over here to uh, Chrome, it's going to pull up a Stripe customer profile for myself. Okay, so this is what it looks like in Stripe. You can see the URL up here. Uh, this is me, my own Stripe. You can see the URL up here. It has customers and then it has this ID. If I go back to Airtable, what you want to have is you want to have a customer Stripe customer ID field that has that ID. Now, typically, what I would do is create a different automation earlier in your process so that this customer ID gets created. That way when you need to access this link, it's easily available for you. Uh, so I would suggest creating an automation that say when somebody books, either when somebody's added to your company's table, it goes and creates that Stripe customer and brings back in their ID or however that looks. That's a separate project, but pretty much you need to have this as a editable field. Then what you wanna do is you wanna add a formula field. So create a field to the left, call it a formula field, and you're gonna be using that ID. So if I go back to Stripe, I would go find a customer in Stripe and copy their entire URL, then go back to Airtable. So I copy the entire URL. What you wanna do is you wanna put it in quotes first, and then you wanna take out the entire customer ID. Now you want to concatenate your customer ID field. So now this is going to be Stripe link. And if I change this from a formula after creating that to a button, it will maintain that formula down here. I'm gonna call this Stripe link and make it blue, like Stripe. So now I can see Stripe link here. If I click this, it opens up that customer in Stripe. Perfect. If I jump back to Airtable, I don't want all of these to be blue if I don't have their ID. So I'm gonna change, I'm gonna copy this whole format and change it to an if statement. And so I'm gonna say, if that customer ID exists, then return that formula. Now I can see it only exists here on this one and so the others are grayed out. And if I click on this again, it'll take me the same link. So that's how you create a really easy URL that takes you right to their Stripe profile. That way you can easily invoice them. And if you're curious about how to make it to where you create an invoice and it brings all the invoice information back into Airtable based on this customer ID, then you can go watch this video right here in the end screen where I walk through all of that. So hope you enjoyed this video, but go check out that video right there. You can learn an in-depth tutorial about how to bring in created invoices, invoices, paid invoices, sent invoices, and all of that into an Airtable CRM. Just click that end screen video right there and I'll see you there.